children this is again uh, from the unit 6 yeah uh, now again there is a listening skill you need to listen to this and you need to uh, listen to the sentences tick the correct homophones okay for each of the sentence on Tuesday when we come back we are going to discuss this also okay and uh, speaking skills the, uh, here the lady is requesting the boy to help her cross the road see what what is the dialogue delivery between them I have been standing here for a long time could you please help me cross the road that man saying sure I will be glad to here are some of the ways you have to make a re request can I borrow your pen could you help me lift these boxes could is considered more polite than can now try it out you can also uh, get into groups of four take turns to make and reply to request such as asking for a pen or asking for help with the sum get ready for the conversation this is a project oh yes this is a project for you and you can make a dialogue um, the question uh, here will be either requesting such asking for a pen or asking for help with the sum okay the, these two be prepared for tuesday okay so here i'm going to start with the list unit list. six helping others Listening. Listen to the sentences. Tick the correct homophone for each sentence. Number one. Mum allowed us to watch a cartoon show yesterday afternoon because we finished our homework early. Number two, when I heard the story, I just knew that I had to read the book. Number three, a cow uses its tail to brush away insects. Number four, please write neatly. Number five, Jill ate two slices of bread, three apples and an ice cream yesterday. So answer, answers are A L L O W E D. Second one is new K N E W new. Tail T A I L tail. Right, right answer. Write the answer. And then eight is A T E. Okay. So let me see. Yeah, here is an email. Email over here. Okay. This I or this also I have given you. Okay. Uh, to uh, to learn okay so now let's go to the next chapter spades and, this is not a chapter this is a poem okay so here i'm going to pay spades and spoons spades and spoons Gathering leaves. Spades take up leaves no better than spoons. 
and bags full of leaves are light as balloons. I make a great noise of rustling all day, like rabbit and deer running away. But the mountains I raise elude my embrace, flowing over my arms and into my face. I may load and unload again and again, till I fill the whole shed. And what have I then? Next to nothing for weight, and since they grew duller from contact with earth, next to nothing for colour, next to nothing for use. But a crop is a crop, and who's to say where the harvest shall stop? Robert Frost Children, you, in, in this poem, you are going to understand this and see that if you can solve the back exercises also and be ready. Okay? So, meet you on Tuesday.